Grab your tea sets, cozy up in your blankets, and grab your buds. It's time for Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel on Storytime with Danny. It's me, Danny, and I'm here to read Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel, which is a children's book about Bob Ross and Peapod the Squirrel, as you can tell by the name. (laughs) It is written by Ron... Rob Perlman, not Ron Perlman, that is a different person, with a really nice chin, by the way. Um, and it is illustrated by Bob Ross with Jason Kaser. Jason Kaser, what a name. It's very interesting to say. Let's get started. My little squirrel friend, Peapod, needs a new home. He keeps dropping pepperoni in my hair. This is... My new theory is that Bob Ross is in a Ratatouille situation. Sorry for the camera focus. He's in a Ratatouille situation and there's a squirrel that just pulls his hair. Because that's why he has such big hair. He has a squirrel in there and it's the thing that makes him paint. Guaranteed. But we looked high and low and we can't find the right one. Wait, I have an idea. You know when Bob Ross has an idea, things are about to get crazy. Now then, let's have some fun. We'll use blue to paint the sky. Lovely. Lovely sky. And then we'll use white to make happy little clouds that just float around and have fun all day. Oh, look at Peapod. He loves, he loves the clouds. He's happy in this home. Gotta make sure I don't skip ahead. That would be spoilers. We don't want that. There we go. We can use a painting knife too which is like a regular knife, but you use it to paint, not to make sandwiches. We use the knife to spread a mix of blue and brown and crimson to make mountaintops. Blue and brown and crimson. What nice mountaintops. Look at Peapod, he's loving it. Then we use a paintbrush to make the mountain bottoms. It's just that easy. Mm, he just blends he just blends the bottom right into the background. I love I love like it's magical when he does it. It's because of the wet paint, the wet white paint that he uses. And then it makes everything blend really easy. That's his technique. Sorry to ruin the magic. <laughs> Peapod likes to ski, so let's add some snow for him. Uh Uh-oh, there's nowhere for Peapod to go. Yee-hoo! Look at... (laughs) He's like, oh crap, dude. (laughs) He's gonna slide into the abyss. You better fix that real quick, Bobby. Bobby boy. Let's use green and blue to paint a meadow before he gets to the bottom. Whew. Peapod's quick stop made some... Um, Peapod's quick stop made some of the paint go splat. Oops. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? He's gonna say it. He's gonna say the thing. Well, that was a happy accident. He said the thing. Don't worry, Peapod. We can do whatever we like in our world. He turned them into happy little trees. Don't worry, Peapod. Let's use even more green and blue and some brown and even some yellow to paint a whole forest of trees and bushes. Look at, he's doing something sneaky, isn't he? Oh my goodness, beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's just 
This is an official Bob Ross painting, by the way. Obviously, this is not part of it. <laughs> That's Jason Kaser's edition. But yeah, this is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is the same mountain I drew, or I painted in my paint with Bob Ross video. <laughs> So that's interesting. That's cool. It is. Okay. Here's your bravery test. Peapod, add more blue. And, and now there's a pond. Isn't that fantastic? I knew you could do it. Look at it. Peapod made a pond. Let's get different lighting. It's hard to see the pond. It's hard in real life and on camera. But there is a pond there. It's a beautiful little pond. And he's so proud of his son. Look at how determined he is. What a lovely squirrel. How about a few more trees and bushes and grassy things? Let's just look at that and enjoy it. Look at them, they're painting together. Just look at that and enjoy it. If my hand is shaking, that's okay. It's because of that high amount of coffee I just drank. And my anxiety from reading a story <laughs> on camera, which I have for some reason. But just look at the trees. Just look at the trees and the mountains and the clouds. And a nice lake. Just enjoy it. No matter how shaky it is. I think we're finished, don't you? Now this is a home for my little squirrel friend, Peapod. It's beautiful. Just get a good, let's get a full view of this place. Beautiful. He's so happy. What a lovely little painting slash home. And not a bad spot for me too. Happy painting and God bless. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. If you'd like to paint this picture yourself, Here's what you'll need. One 18 by 24 inch canvas, one two inch background brush, one one inch landscape brush, one liner brush, one large painting knife, one fan brush, paint, liquid white, Prussian blue, titanium white, Van Dyke brown, alizarin crimson, sap green, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, bright red and dark sienna. But don't worry if your painting looks different at the end. That's what makes it great. And that's that. That's that beautiful book. It was short, but it's a kid's book. That's how they are. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you ever are feeling stressed or anything, just come back to this video. Because it's always here for some positive vibes. For now, thanks for watching, and happy painting slash sleeping slash living. <laughs>